Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to study opium and morphine poisoning. It is from Parikh, page, uh, chapter number 48. So we need to know that is also, it is also known as Afim. Um, it is collected from the uh, plant known as Papaver Somniferum. And we also need to know that this is an MCQ point that the poppy seeds or khashkhas I don't know how is it written it's um, non-poisonous the only part of the plant that is non-poisonous the fourth thing that we need to know is that the seeds are of dark brown color this is a nospy point and important for identification now we need to know the signs and symptoms <clears throat> So, depending upon the route of administration, the signs and symptoms appear. For example, if the route of administration is IV or oral. If it's IV, then it takes about half an hour to one hour. And if it's oral, then it takes about three to five hours. There are three stages. Excitation. Stupor and narcosis so continuing excitation stage is characterized by a feeling of wellness or well-being everything is excited or upregulated in here for example there will be laughter hallucinations and rapid heart rate then there is stupor in this everything is decreased for example there would be weariness feeling of fatigue headache diminished sensibility there would be weight in limbs and pupils will be contracted. Pupils are contracted. This is a main point and there will be cyanosis. Then comes the stage of narcosis. Narcosis here means that the patient is in deep coma. So in this deep coma, there would be the pupils will be pinpoint. The pulse will be feeble or and rapid. The breathing will be slow, also known as shine stroke. There will be froth that won't be fine as there is an asphyxia and drowning. And uh, then at the end, the terminal event is respiratory paralysis. So one needs to know that the triad of opium poisoning includes respiratory paralysis, pinpoint pupils, and deep coma. This is an important viva question. Then we need to know that there is hypothermia. Hypothermia means that the temperature of the body goes below 35 degrees centigrade. Next, we need to know the fatal dose and fatal period. Fatal dose is almost 2 grams for opium and almost 200 mg for morphine and the fatal period is about uh, 9 to 12 hours. Then how do we diagnose this case? The diagnosis is based on different things that occur in the symptom stage. For example, the breath smell would be of raw flesh. This is a very characteristic feature and is asked in vivas. Then there would be pinpoint pupils, there would be shine stroke breathing, there would be coma, there would be froth that is not fine as in asphyxia and drowning. Then we need to know the differential diagnosis. The differential diagnosis are intracranial lesions, then there would be metabolic uh, disorders such as diabetic coma and uremic coma. Then there would be alcohol poisoning, carbolic acid poisoning, and OP poisoning. Now these all are also characterized by pupil alterations and a state of coma or respiratory paralysis. That is why these are also known as the diagnosis. Now how do we treat a patient that has come with an opium poisoning? First of all, we need to wash the stomach. Then we need to give purgatives 
so that the intestinal contents are washed out. Then we can give the antidotes that are nanorphine. Or now it is uh, being um, replaced by a more potent antagonist that is naloxone. The nelorphine is a specific antidote and is given intravenously in a dose of 5 to 10 mg every 15 minutes. And the naloxone is a pure antagonist and is given from 0 0.4 to 0 0.8 mg IV or IM every 10 to 15 minutes. The next thing we need to know is um, that what are the medical legal significance? It can be homicidal, it can be infanticide or it can be accidental. Infanticide is very common in countries like Pakistan and India. Then how do you know a case of chronic opium poisoning? Chronic opium poisoning is characterized by addiction when a patient is using pain relieving drugs. The next thing we need to know is that Due to addiction, a patient becomes dependent on it. So dependence is a main characteristic because there is rapid tolerance in the poisoning state. There would be three states, just like the three stages. The physical deterioration stage, the mental deterioration stage, and the moral deterioration stage. First, we will discuss the moral, where there will be an uh, increase case of crime then there will be mental deterioration which, which is characterized by loss of memory irritability depression and all these kind of psychiatric problems then there is physical de de degeneration which is characterized by uh, emaciation infection anorexia constipation so this was all about opium and morphine poisoning any questions can be asked in the comment section